batteries bike so if you're not familiar with what I'm doing I already built one bike these are two new packs for my new bike because I'm putting that motor here in this wheel because that and that make that bike go too fast so I bought this bike with this kind of stuff in it like in here so that fast will be like safe because now I can like stop and there's stuff that goes up and down so that's good for like bumps and I won't blow back tires anymore so yeah now yeah putting batteries in the frame and I got these little metal brackets. I think I'm gonna make some type of box for it. Like that. And bolt into like the water bottle holder screw things. See, got a lot of these. So I might try to Oh, oh, this way. I'm trying to make like a box or something. I don't know. Hey, that's looking pretty good. Got three pieces, one, two, three, and just kind of bent them all up to fit in there. That's going to be one pack. Now I'm going to do one for the bottom. Okay, that's in there. You can see there is just enough clearance in there. A little bit of clearance in the top tube, too. So bolted into where the water bottle bracket is. Now I'm going to work on the bottom one. Alright, check that box out. It's pretty much done. The 124 volt pack will fit in there, bolted in where the water bottle holder goes. And then I just used some of my kids' Play-Doh to clay out how close that knob comes down when I fully cycle it. So, that's pretty sweet. Now, the bottom one. Okay, get the packs more finalized. This is the way the bottom one's gonna go. Um, I want it to be kinda high so I can have some, as much ground clearance as possible without smashing my batteries. And I don't want the tire to hit it either at full stuff there. And then this is going to kind of be like that. Okay. This is the bottom pack. Charging up. And I'm soldering up the top pack. <clears throat> kind of like that. Yo, shout out to my wife who lets me, you know, work on bikes in my living room. In my office. So, swap into the Specialized versus the stock one. This is the one that came with the kit. This is the Specialized disc. So I'm swapping to the bigger one so it fits. I already test fitted it so it looks like it's going to fit well. And we're tapping, topping off the bottom pack. Um, and then I'm going to switch that tire to this wheel also. Motor is mounted, and this is a little worrisome. It doesn't really sit. I mean, it's all the way in the dropout, but the dropout's pretty shallow. Looks the same on this side. Focus. There we go. Eh, whatever. I'm going with it. Oh, man, it fits. It fits. It spins. It's good. All right. Wiring time. Controller bracket. It's going to be a little bit something like that. Kind of. Okay. That's kind of mounted like that. And then I just wrap this in some black tape and I'm going to put it on here. Oh, upside down. Okay. And a quick little clay test. I'd say that's good. 
It's about, I don't know, a quarter inch. Works for me. That's Play-Doh too, by the way. Ha! Hmm. Throttle's on. Computer's on. Kind of blocks my display of my shifter, but oh well. And wrap my black my bracket in some black tape. Get my pack in there, and it's actually really snug without even doing anything. But I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna do something to make it more secure. Uh, just enough room in there. Doesn't hit. I already cycled it. This doesn't hit either, but it comes pretty close. And this isn't final either, it's just kind of getting to something. And I'm trying to put a little handle on the back too. Bottom pack's going to be a little simpler to make bracket for. And what's cool is, is there's three, one, two, three locations to bolt into. Well... It's done, I wrote it, it's sick. I got impatient and I just kind of threw the batteries on there, hooked up some wires, kind of hacked all this together, and it does rub a little bit at full stuff. You really can't see though. But it rubs just a teensy bit at full stuff. But man, is it fast, it's fun. Um, I'm gonna make better batteries. This is going to be better, but right now it works and it's fun. So, so far I've been 10 and a half miles. It rips. Well, subscribe for more videos on my e-bike. So I'm going to be doing some more stuff in the future. Thanks for watching. See ya.